Yo, what's up? Before we get started, I have a few quick little announcements I just wanted to get out of the way. One, uh, I've already said this before, but I have a second channel where I post tight beats. I just want to bring it up again because I finally got my Beat Starts page up and running, so now it's easier to lease beats if you want. Two, my EP Mood will be out on all streaming platforms this Friday, November 1st. Also, Sticks and Stones hit 100,000 streams on Spotify, so thank you so much for that. And three, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because your boy's trying to get verified. Today, we're making a track like Low Tecca. I'm going for a sound like the song Did It Again. Tyler Justin Anthony Sharp, also known as Lil Tecca, is a rapper hailing from Queens, New York, but he also lives in Long Island. Previous to making music, Tecca was really interested in basketball and wanted to play professional. I used to play basketball. Okay. Yeah, I used to play basketball. I was, when I was in seventh grade, I was like, I ain't going to the NBA, so I just cut that. Oh man, this is so sad. Alexa, play Sticks and Stones. Hey, remember to stream Sticks and Stones on all streaming platforms. Hey, hey. Tekka started getting into music when he was about nine years old, rapping and joking with friends on Xbox Live. Low key, that's how I started rapping too. His first song ever was actually a diss track towards one of his friends on Xbox. Uh, I haven't been able to find the song anywhere, but in a few interviews, he does mention a few of the memorable lines in the track, like, your head is big, you a bitch, your beard is weird. Yo, my man better, yeah. Chill. Tekka continued to release music throughout middle school and high school, and soon got some traction with songs like Colin, Did It Again, and of course, Ransom. Fun fact, he got the name Lil Tekka from a friend on Instagram. They both had the name Tekka in their usernames, but her name was just Tekka, so she called him Lil Tekka. A lot of Lil Tekka's tracks are fairly melodic and use simple but catchy chord progressions. Uh, many of the instruments found in these melodies are basic synths and pianos. If you check out his album, We Love You Tekka, the songs Did It Again, Out of Luck, Left, Right, and Amigo all kind of fit that criteria. To help me create this sound, the guys over at Sample Chefs were nice enough to send me their newest pack, Midi Collection Volume 1. Producer Canary Jules has created over 400 original melodies, counter melodies, and chord progressions perfectly designed to help break, beat, block, and help you create beats as efficiently as possible. All of the midis are organized by its scale and are labeled with its intended tempo, genre, and instrument in mind. There's melodies for a multitude of genres like melodic trap, dark trap, R&B, and even alternative. This pack is way more than just melodies though. There's hi-hat patterns, a mixing preset, and a few bonus Omnisphere presets. If you use my link in the description, you get this pack for $30. In my track, I'm going to be using one of the melodic trap melodies found in the B minor scale. I played this melody with the pop keys preset in Nexus and changed a few of the notes. I also EQ'd the lows out and boosted some of the highs. And then I finished it off with some reverb and delay. I also made a simpler version of the progression to play at different parts of the track. And then I layered it with the smooth wavetable preset from Expand. I also noticed in a few low tech songs, there's this low analog sounding bass that plays right before the drums come in. So I used Ultra Analog Session and played this melody that follows a progression. Uh, for the drums, I wanted them to be relatively simple and establish the rhythm very quickly. I have this hi-hat pattern playing on every first beat, and this hi-hat playing double time with a little sprinkle sound in between. I layered it up with this open hi-hat, this percussion, and these two claps. I also used this kick and layered it with the 808 that follows the progression. Here's the beat. It's only one pattern and it runs throughout the whole track. Yeah, I know it's pretty simple, but that's the vibe I was going for. If you make your beat simple, it gives the artist a little bit more room to create over the track. I also added some transition sounds and symbols to help bring in different parts of the track. Here is everything all together. Lo 
Low Tucky usually does that cool singy rap and creates some pretty catchy melodies. Occasionally he'll go into his fast triplet flow and then go right back into the melody. Uh, in a few of his tracks, like Shots and Did It Again, he'll do this ooh ad-lib to establish the melody he's going for. I thought it was pretty cool. He also likes to layer his verses with even more melodic ad-libs. Many of his lyrics consist of him talking about cars. I don't even know how to drive. His relationships with women and groupies. I have a girlfriend. I don't have no young ladies. And him separating himself from people who want to do him dirty. I don't have no straps for nobody. Real talk, I really like Lil Tecca. He's got a good head on his shoulders, and I like his whole, if you like my music, thanks, and if you don't like my music, don't worry about me kind of attitude. He even made a list of his top five favorite fruits. Cherries, and then that's the green grapes. Green grapes. Pineapples. That's the mango right there. Yeah, that's the mango. <laughs> that's right. Number and two mango? The, yeah, number one strawberry. I'm looking forward to what he's got in store for his fans, and I wish him a long and fruitful career. She wanna smash and she wanna date me I'm finna splash, I'm dripping like crazy So, ooh, don't think I'm stupid You cannot copy me, my style and none of my movements All of your bitches love me now to come